Hi, this is Hardball Retro. Welcome to the Retrodome. Today's game is Tony La Russa Baseball 3. This was published in 1995 by Stormfront Studios. And let's see, I'm looking at the credits right now. So the product director was Hudson Peel. Executive producer, Don Daglow. This was the third uh, in the Tony La Russa series out of four games. And uh, this was also produced concurrently with Old Time Baseball, which I highly recommend uh, that you check out. Um, both were released in uh, 1995. Uh, Old Time Baseball had uh, basically the interface is very similar to uh, Tony La Russa 3, um, but it contains the uh, some of the uh, older stadiums and I think about 80 seasons worth of uh, statistics um, along with the time machine option which allows you to um, play games in a different era uh, based uh, like the results would be uh, skewed towards the dead ball era or you know the Babe Ruth era or the golden era uh, there's I think there's six or seven eras in there or you can uh, also select a specific season uh, for the time machine option. So anyway, uh, excellent game, highly recommended. Uh, but this is uh, Larusa three. So I'm in uh, I'm in the midst of a uh, replaying the 1995 season in this right now um, because I'm actually running uh, Tony Larusa three, the 1996 edition, which is basically uh, includes the 95 stats and I think it might have uh, uh, included a couple of the features that were uh, sold as utility uh, discs um, maybe a couple other stadiums I don't recall but at any rate so I'm about halfway through this season I'm at the all-star game so I'm gonna play the all-star game I have no idea who's in the all-star game it just it just wrapped up in the uh, the first half of the season, so let's let's just dive in and see who's who's playing here, and then uh, at the end of the game, maybe I'll uh, jump through some of the menu options. Uh, let's go to uh, we're going to use historical stats for the All Star game. I don't like using the, the simulated stats for that. So <clears throat> let's see who the the computer is going to select the roster to. We've got Mel Allen, Hank Greenwald, Lon Simmons. All three of these are uh, a lot of fun to listen to. Um, I think I did Mel Allen in the old time baseball. I can't remember. So we'll do, uh, we'll choose Lon Simmons here. Um, I also noticed that the animation speed on my old time baseball video was. Uh, a little sluggish. I think that's because I had the cycles in DOSBox um, set uh, incorrectly. So I bumped it up to 10,000 CPU cycles, and it seems to run fine. So we're gonna we're gonna give that a shot. Um, I'll manage the AL team, computer ML. I'll use the keyboard. Animation speed. Let's see how high can we bump this? Sorry. All right, we'll leave it on five, and then we'll change it if we need to. Uh, music. Uh, let's see. Maybe we'll toggle that off at some point. DH night game. Yep, this all looks fine. Select stadium. Uh, current stadium is Boston. Uh, let's pick something different today. Let's go with... I'll we'll play it Wrigley. Um,
<clears throat> so you'll notice the today's picture of Todd Stottlemyre. His real statistics in 1995 weren't so hot, but apparently he's doing well in the uh, 1995 replay, which is why he was chosen. So I'm going to leave him as the starter here. Staff here on the AL side. Let's look at the NL. Maddox. And they'll probably keep the lineups as the computer picked it. Here. That's fine. That looks pretty stacked too. a little bit there, something like that. Other team. Valentin ninth. This all looks good. Done. All right, play ball. Welcome to the ivy-covered walls of Wrigley Field in windy Chicago. The weather tonight is pleasant with 50% humidity. The wind is blowing from right to left at about 15 miles per hour. If only these ivy-covered walls could talk. There's enough baseball tradition in this ballpark to fill a hundred history books. I'm Lon Simmons, and I'm here to bring you all the action. Starting off the inning, Barry Larkin batting 319. So you do get the player photos, I think, for most of these, uh, because the recent seasons are licensed. The payoff pitch. Ball four. All right. We're not off to a good start here, are we? Tony Gwynn, batting 368. So if you see in the bottom left, I can choose the pitch, fastball, curve, change, slider. Popped up to short. He makes the catch. One down. That brings up Mike Piazza, hitting three, 46. I'm going to throw him a changeup. The first. Force out at second. A 3-6-3 double play. No runs, no hits, no errors, and nobody left on base. Middle of the first. It's nothing to nothing. Leading off is Chuck Nabla, hitting 333. That was my computer just locking up, so I apologize for that little glitch there. Hopefully we're back on track. If it does that again, we'll have to start it. Way back, way back. And that one's going all the way to the wall. All That's right. a double for Nabla. That brings up Rafael Palmeiro, batting 310. Try to hit for power. We got normal power, contact, bunt, and then uh, if you hit the enter key, you can do all four. He walks in. Hit and run, steal, that type of stuff. Here. Next up, Jim Tomey, batting 314. Here, so if I hit enter, you see in the bottom left it changed. Steal, double steal, hit and run, take pitch, normal. Go back to the other screen. And we're going to try to hit for power with Tomei. That's his second walk. Next batter, Albert Bell, hitting 3-17. A 
hot smash to short. It goes through the left side. <clears throat> Base hit for Bell, driving in a pair of runs. The score is two to nothing. Next batter, Tim Salmon, batting 330. All right, here's Sakai Salmon, Kingfish. Runners on first and third. That one's up the left field. Yeah, it's going to drop in there. Oh, dive. That one's going all the way and he the missed wall. it. Double for Salmon. That drives in a run. It's three to nothing. Oh, Brian Barber. Next batter, Frank Thomas, batting 308. Oh, no photo for Brian Barber. Frank Thomas, power. Let's hit the power here. Paul, strike three. One down. That's the first strikeout he's recorded tonight. Next up, Jim Edmonds, hitting 290. All right, Jimmy Baseball. Let's knock them both in here. A liner to second. It gets through the right side. Go. He grabs it. Throw to the plate. He's out at the plate. Oh, come on. Driving in a run. Challenge. The score is four to nothing. Next up, Mike oh, Stanley, batting 268. Call the strike three. That ends the inning. That's two strikeouts for the pitcher tonight. Four runs on four hits, no errors, and one runner left. After one, the score is four to nothing. Starting off the inning, Barry Bonds hitting two ninety-four. Hey, we're up by four. I'm gonna challenge this guy. Fastball. You can tell him it's coming. He delivers. A liner to the right. All right. Well, he said. Um, I really Bond. like the, uh, Next up, Mark the, the stadium renderings three, here. The, Twenty-six. The, the artwork is is pretty exceptional for uh, this time frame. And I, if I re recall correctly, uh, hot grounder up the middle. It bounces through the infield. There's a base hit. Um, a I believe they uh, that they were able to acquire the blueprints for, three, for a lot of the ballparks. Get all the details, you know, as exact as possible. Uh, let's go to the curveball. Paul, strike three, one down. That's the first strikeout he's recorded tonight. That brings up Ray <coughs> Langford, batting 277. Strike three. Struck him out. Two outs now. That's the second strikeout he's chalked up tonight. That brings up Dante Bichette hitting 340. Also known as Bo Bichette's father. But, uh, Dante was quite the ball player back in his uh, he day comes there. To the stretch. The pitch. Loop the center. And he shows us with a base at the center. Throw to the plate. Oh. He's out He's at out. home. That retires the side with a score. No runs on two hits, no errors, and two runners left on. Middle of the second, the score is four to nothing. All right, so they keep the shutout in touch. Leading off is John Valentin, batting 298. A liner to second. Got him. One out. That brings up Chuck Knobloch, 
He's one for one with one run scored and with a double. The payoff pitch. Strike three. That's two down. That's his third strikeout from only two innings of pitching. Now batting Rafael Palmeiro hitting three, ten. Fly ball the center. He makes the catch. That ends the inning. No runs, no hits, no errors, and nobody left on. Heading to the third, the score is four to nothing. Leading off is Greg Biggio, hitting three. Go two. Well, Stoudemire still pitching well, so we've been a little bit longer here. It is an all-star game, so generally these guys go two, three innings at the most. Here's the pitch. Grounded. Got him. That brings up Barry Larkin, hitting three. 19. Here comes the curve. A liner to the left. Tell it goodbye. That breaks up the shutout, and we're going to get somebody up in the bullpen here. That's a solo shot for Larkin. It's 4-1. to one. That brings up Tony Gwynn. He's 0-1 for one thus far tonight. Uh, bullpen. Let's see here. Ooh. Our relievers here. Go to starters. Johnson in. And I'll check with Henry. And there's a change up to Gwyn. The payoff Gwyn. pitch. He can hit pretty much anything. So. A high fly to left. Caught by Bell. Two down. That brings up Mike Piazza. He's 0 for 1 thus far tonight. Peter. Here's the pitch. Fly ball to the right. Caught by Edmonds. And that's the third out. One run on two hits. No error. <coughs> and nobody left on base. Middle of the third. It's 4 to 1. Starting off the inning, Jim Tomey. Batting 3-14. So you don't want to leave your relievers warming up too long because they will become tired. Finley is still cold, so we're going to give him another batter or two until he's warm, and then we're going to replace Stottlemyre. I guess being a starter, he's got to warm up a little bit longer. Strike three. One out. That's the fourth K the pitchers earned tonight. Coming up next, Albert Bell. He's one for one with two runs batted in and with a single. Ball four. That brings up Tim Salmon. He's one for one with one run batted in and with a double. Let's go to me. Not going out of here. Shallow fly ball to left. He makes the catch. That's out number two. That brings up Frank <coughs> Thomas. He's all for one to strike out. Big hurt. Oh, we put a big hurt on that one.
not the game, it's my machine, so I apologize, folks. Two run blast for Thomas. It's six to one. That brings up Jim Edmonds. He's one for one with one run batted in and with a single. Let's get in the, in the game. What I forget. So you just drag the guy from the warming up section into the now pitching section. There we go. Done. Action. Jimmy Edmonds. He delivers. A liner to left. Base hit for Edmonds. Coming up to bat, Mike Stanley. He's all for one to strike out. Paul strike three. That retires the side with a score. That's the pitcher's fifth K tonight. Two runs on two hits, no errors, and one runner left. At the end of three, it's six to one. Starting off the inning, Barry Bonds. He's one for one with a single. That's ball. Strike three. Struck him out. One down. That's strikeout number one for the pitcher tonight. Now batting Mark Grace. He's one for one with a single. A liner to third. The throw to first. Got him. That's out number two. Now batting Ken Caminiti. He's 0 for 1 to strike out. Grounded to third. The throw to first. Got him. That ends the inning. Three up, three down. Three and a half down. It's six to one. Right. Starting off yeah, the inning, league. John Valentin. He's In 0 for 1 right thus now. far tonight. Brian Barber still in there. Strike three. Struck him out. That's one down. That's his sixth strikeout tonight. <coughs> Coming up to out. bat, Chuck Nabla. He's one for two with one run scored and with a double. Chuck Nabla. Second baseman. A liner to deep right field. It's off the wall. Double for Nabla. Coming up to bat, Rafael Palmeiro. He's 0 for 1 with a walk and with one run scored. So, this is an all-star game, right? So, who do we got? Don't have another first baseman, huh? Interesting. See, it says Barber is tired, so I think we're going to knock him out soon. He's trying to hit the power with him. The pitch. Line drive to the center. It's off the wall. He grabs it. All right, back to back doubles. Seven to one. Double for Palmyro. That drives in a run. The score is seven to one. Next up, Jim Tomey. He's all for one with a walk and with one run scored. Let's see if you can knock this guy out of the game here. Mr. Tomei. Grounded up the middle. Oh, nice Grabbed by the Vigio. Got him. Coming up next, Albert Bell. He's one for one with two runs batted in and with a single. He delivers. A high oh. 
punch that one. Two-run blast foot bell. The score is nine to one. Jesus that brings up Jim Salmon. He's one for two with one run batted in and with a double. All right, Mr. Salmon. Did you hit for a third time here? Here's the pitch. Hot grounder up the middle. It bounces through the infield. That's a base hit for Salmon. Coming up to bat, Frank Thomas. He's one for two with two runs batted in and for the homer. Full count. Strike three. Oh. Struck him out. That's the third out. That's strikeout number one for the pitcher tonight. Three runs on four hits, no errors, and one runner left. Top of the fifth. The score is nine to one. Leading off the inning, Ray Langford. He's 0 for 1 to strike out. I think we'll let Finley go too, as long as he doesn't get into trouble the same. A high fly to right. Caught by Nabla. There's the first out of the inning. Now batting Dante Bichette. He's 1 for 1 with a single. Split finger. Let's try the old split. Two two pitch. Strike three. There's Struck a punch him out. out. Two down. That's two strikeouts for the pitcher tonight. Coming up next, Craig Bezio. He's 0 for one so far tonight. Heater. Here comes the heat. Two more pitch. A high chopper to short. The throw to first. Got him. That retires the side with a score. Three up, three down. Middle of the fifth. The score is nine to one. Starting off the <coughs> inning, Jim Edmonds. He's two for two with one run batted in and with two singles. Start making some substitutions after this inning, I think. Also, we gotta get a pitcher up. Way back, way back. Oh, that's catchable. Yeah. He reels it in. One down. Thought so. Thought that was hanging in the park. That brings up Mike Stanley. He's 0 for 2 with two strikeouts. Okay, um, starters. Grounded to second. Got him. Two down. Got to look through that. That brings up John Valentin. We do. Should have been my starter, but oh well. Bring the Iron Man out looking in. The payoff pitch. Grounded. It bounces through the infield. A single for Ripken. Coming up to bat, Chuck Nabla. He's two for three with two runs scored and with two doubles.
called strike three. The side is retired. And that's the second strikeout he's chalked up tonight. No runs on one hit, no errors, and one runner left. Five innings gone. The score is nine to one. Leading off is Barry Larkin. He's one for one with one run batted in and with a homer. Sound glitches all of a sudden. A liner to the right. <laughs> he makes the catch. One down. The old flutter ball. That brings up Tony Gwynn. He's all for right, two Tony, tonight. Hit my knuckler. All right, take a walk. <laughs> that brings up Mike Piazza. He's all for two tonight. Knuckler. He comes to the stretch. Strike three. Two outs now. That's strikeout number one for the pitcher tonight. Now batting Barry Bonds. Barry Bonds. He's one for two with a strikeout and with a single. Hmm. Knuckleball? Let's see. Way back, way back. Uh-oh. He reels it in. Nice. That ends the inning. No runs, no hits, no errors, and one runner left. We've played five and a half. The score is nine to one. Yeah, Leading off the inning, Rafael Palmeiro. Let's go with. He's going to go in the bullpen. Johnson to face Bonds next time, I guess. And we got we unloaded most of our bench here, so a liner to left. It goes through the left side. A single for Palmyro. Let's try something. Here. Next up, Jim Tomey. He broke He's the for two in. with a walk and with one run scored. Round rules. I was going to see if we could switch announcers mid-game, but it does not appear to be the case. Oh, my. <laughs> that was belted. That's gone. That's not gone. That one left the yard real quick. You know what? I want to turn off this feature here. <laughs> yeah, it's fun the first time around, but... I don't know. Seems like it causes some lag once you hit a home run, so I'm gonna get rid of that. Two run blast for Tommy. Now batting, Marty Cordova. Hit. We're up 11 to 1 here. Let's go to uh, Jumbotron off. Right. And we're going to turn music off. All right. Is this Cordova? Strike three. Struck him out. There's the first out of the inning. 
That's strikeout number one for the pitcher tonight. Coming up to bat, Tim Salmon. He's two for three with a single and with a double. Popped up to third. Hawk by Caminiti. That's out number two. Jackson is up. Frank Thomas. In the middle for three. With two runs batted in and with a homer. All right, here's the pitch. Fly ball to the center. It's going to be caught out in center. Caught by Langford. That ends the inning. Two runs on two hits. No errors and nobody left on. That's six in the books. Starting off the inning, Mark Grace. Going to go to the pen. We're now Roberto Hernandez. Curveball coming. Line drive to oh. deep right field. And that one's going all that the way to the pitch. wall. Held him to he a double. Pulled into second with a stand up double. Eric Harris is down there. Caminiti, the right hander, batting 298. Here comes the heat. The pitch. A liner to the center. Grabbed by Williams. Give that throw home. He pulls into second with a stand-up double. That drives in a run. Next up, Ray Langford. He's 0 for 2 with a strikeout. All right. And it's not very too well. He delivered. It's a changeup. That one's up the left field alley. Oh and that my. one's going all the way to the wall. That's a long single. That's a base hit for Langford. That drives in a run. Next up, Dante. All right, let's go with bullpen. Let's get uh, let's get Lee Smith up in the pen. Done there. Comes a heater. Two strikes. Here's the pitch. Strike three. There's okay. the first out of the inning. That's Please strikeout number one for the pitcher tonight. Up next, Craig Vigio. He's 0 for 2 tonight. Let's see if we can hold him. We'll count. A liner to second. He throws to second. Out two, in double play. A four six three double play. Nice. The side is retired. Two runs get out. on three Roberto. hits, no errors, and nobody left on. Six and a half innings gone. Leading off the inning, Bernie Williams, batting three oh seven. Mike Jackson's in the lead. Uh, we're gonna get. Bench. We're going to get Randy Johnson warmed up here. Right. And what do we got? Bernie Williams up. Line drive to the center. Hawk by Langford. That's one down. Next up, <coughs> the catcher. He's over one so far tonight. Coach Rodriguez. Grounded. It There's bounces through hit. the infield. They We're up 11 to 3, right? Catcher. That brings up Cal Ripken. He's one for one with a single. I'm going to try a straight steal here. Let's see what happens. The runner goes. Called strike three. That's two down. That's the second strikeout he's oh, struck tonight. Oh, strikeout out. No runs on one hit. No right. errors oh. and nobody left on. That didn't work After out for us. Seven full. It's a blowout. 
Leading off is Barry Larkin. He's one for two with one run batted in. Now Hernandez is tired from when he went to the bullpen previously. So there's Randy Johnson. Because, you know, it's the big unit. Why not? Fastball. A high oh. chopper to third. The throw to first. Got him. There's the first out of the inning. Coming up to bat, Tony's oh. win. He's 0 for 2 with a walk. Slider. Here's Tony's the pitch. Slider. A high fly to right. Uh, it's catchable. Caught by Erga. Two outs oh. now. Coming up to bat, Mike Piazza. He's 0 for 3 to strike out. Peter. Only one strike, so he's making times out. He takes it to the bag himself. Three up, three down after seven and a half innings of play. Apologize for the choppy audio and some of the glitches here. I'm, I'm certain it's my machine. I just got too many things running in the background, so. Apologies, but I didn't want to start over, so it is what it is. Again, still appreciate the, uh, the game here. Chopper to second. Got him. Next up, Rafael Palmiro. He's two for three with a single and with a double. Line to short. Park left Larkin. Two outs now. That brings up Jim Tomey. He's one for three with two runs batted in and with a homer. Fly ball to left. Throw to second. Oh, gets away from him. No advancement. Base hit for Tommy. Now batting Marty Cordova. He's 0 for 1 to strike out. Cordova. Two, 2 pitch. Strike three. That's the third out. That's the first strikeout he's recorded tonight. No runs on one hit, one error, and one runner left. After eight full. Starting off the inning, Barry Bonds. He's one okay. for three with a strikeout and with a single. Better give him the heater. Still in. He Ain't comes to there. the plate. Popped up to okay. second. It's out of play. Foul. Try again. 0 2 pitch. 3 2 pitch. Ball four. Uh, he walks him. Next up, Mark Grace. He's had a good day at the plate. He's two for three with a single and with a double. The runner goes. A high chopper to second. The throw to first. Got him. Next up, Vinny Castilla batting 309. A liner to the left. Oh, by the rip doubled head. off. Two outs now. Double play. That ends the inning. No runs, no hits, no errors, and nobody left on. And the ball game is over. This is Lon Simmons saying so long and uh, see you tomorrow. All right, thanks, Lon. Okay, 11-3, here's our box score. I mean, here's our line score. We'll go to the box score. Getting four in the first was all we needed, pretty much. Uh, Tomei, Bell, Thomas, home runs. Uh, Bell with four RBI. Uh, let's see. All the starters get a hit, looks like, except for Stanley and Valentin. And then other team, the NLs got a home run from Larkin and a couple of hits from Grace, and that was that was about it. Not a whole lot of offense from the NL squad. NL, Nomo got roughed up. 
and then brought in Brian Barber. He gave up quite a few five runs there. And our team, we had uh, Stottlemyer gave up the long ball to Larkin. And then uh, Finley pitched well. Andy Johnson pitched well. So. So let's just uh, real quick here. If we look at the, you can create new universes. Uh, it's basically a league, right? Mm -hmm. um, and then we've got got my dog Moan in here, so I've got to take her out in a second. Um, let's just look real quick. So I was doing a 95 season, and here's the standing so far at the All Star break. So Cleveland's got the best record. California's 50 wins, 53 wins in the West. Boston's atop the East. Let's look at the NL. We got Cincinnati ahead of Houston. We got Florida. I think I will take you in a minute. Hold on. Um, Colorado and San Diego, pretty much in a dead heat in the West. And that's. Got statistical leaders you can look at here. A little hourglass that comes up. So you're looking at historical, right? This is what the guys actually did in 1995. Then if you go to sim season, you'll see what they're hitting so far. So let's see who the batting leaders are. Got Dante Bichette with a 386 average over Edgar and Piazza. Bonds with a 361. And then if we uh, slide over here a bit, let's just move the slider uh, a little more. Next one over. Home runs. So home run leader at the All-Star break was Bell with 29, McGuire, Vaughn, Ventura, Thomas, and Bonds with 26, and Mondesi, Murray, Sorrento. Ramirez 25, O'Neill Piazza 24. So sounds about right. Um, and pitching, let's just look at pitching real quick. So ERA, uh, it's going to go by most. So we got to change that to least, lowest ERA. Right? Nomo 235. Uh, a couple of relievers in there. Greg Maddox so on and so forth. So anyway, this is what the game looks like from the you know, standpoint of looking at it through, uh, through the halfway point on a simulated season. Uh, manager, you can adjust your player roster, um, your defense and batting order versus lefties and righties, your pitching staff, your pitching rotation. Let's click into this real quick. Right, your rotation, so you can do starters, long relievers, setup men, closers. Uh, I'll just go ahead here. In order. All right, California versus right-handers. This is their batting order. DU is days unavailable, so Garrett Anderson is currently out for seven days. Greg Myers is out for twelve. Um, I think you can be injured for up to thirty days at a clip. Versus lefties, pretty much the same order. Just Anderson and Snow are swapped, and Easley is playing second instead of Hudler, I believe. Um, utilities, you can create your team, edit team names and color, uh, uniform colors, um, edit player stats. That's if you need to adjust, you know, if you see somebody's statistics are incorrect or if you're Creating a team from scratch, you can enter the statistics in from baseball reference or you know, other sources. Um, assign stadiums. Uh, import, you could import from, uh, I think, prior versions of uh, Tony La Russa. Um, import stadium, same deal. Let's see. That is... Pretty much it. Got some toggle the music on and off. 
different print options and so forth. So, uh, credits. there's the credits. I'll leave that up for a moment. Uh, obviously, Tony LaRusso was involved with the, uh, the manager, you know, uh, artificial intelligence strategies. The list of credits uh, grows as you know, as these games you know were developed from uh, you know the 1980s. It would be like one programmer, maybe one graphics, you know, one animator, and one one guy working on the sound effects or something. Now it's uh, you know, just multiple people working on uh, individual pieces of the game. So uh, let's see, cycle through the credits here. I think we'll get back to the main screen. And then I'll do this real quick, Tony's tips. All right, uh, let's say batting order. Yeah, setting up a batting order is one of the most fun things a manager has to do, especially if you got some talent to, to choose between. I think some of the no-nos that you want to avoid is you don't want to make it easy for the other club to manage against you, for example. Uh, if you stack your lefts and rights, then if the starting pitcher has any kind of trouble, the other manager has it really easy to relieve against you. Assuming he has lefts and rights, he'll just uh, play the percentages. If you mix it up with a left or right, switch hitters are wonderful. That's why I love switch hitters, because they, they cause the other side so many problems. That forces them to rethink, and they may hold, not make a relief move for a hitter or two, and that might cost them another run or two. So watch how you stack your hitters. Uh, I think another important point in your lineup is you want to is you want to complement the styles of the hitters. In other words, there are some real rally stoppers. What are they? Lack of speed, uh, a real strikeout guy, or rally stoppers. If you put a bunch of guys who don't run very well together. You're locking up that part of the order unless they hit the ball out of the park, which they don't do very often. You don't run the bases. You don't have much ex excitement. There's not much you can manufacture. All right, so that about wraps it up. Um, again, Tony La Russa Baseball 3. This is the 1996 edition, but there was just a Tony La Russa 3. Um, so, uh, again, highly recommended. I had a lot of fun playing this back in the, in the mid to late 90s. Um, so check it out. You can probably find a copy on eBay for a reasonable price, and it will run in DOSBox uh, on a uh, Windows 10, Windows 11 computer. So uh, until next time, keep playing ball, and we'll see you soon.